in the uh, the ten hundreds. Obviously, as William the Conqueror went and conquered, you know, England. That's what he's kind of famous for. Um, you would get Normans adventuring different places, and some of them went to Ireland. So some of them took over places there. Oh, poor Solo. Um, so some of them took places there, and they built castles. Uh, a couple of famous ones, actually. I think they built... Maybe it was Dublin Castle? I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm sure if someone actually knows, they'll correct me. They'll be like, nope, it was this that they built. But they did uh, They did build some castles in this general area. I know, it's like half of Ireland, but that's why it's called the South. But yeah, they built, they built castles in this general area. And uh, some of the naming conventions were adopted. So uh, it was like a cultural mishmash, basically. And so things like Fitzgerald and Fitzbermond come from the Normans. So it's kind of historically accurate. But yeah, that's why you get people like uh, like Dear Judith, who have names like that sound sort of Irish, because they're basically bastardizations. Who are you? You are Yasser. I have no idea who you are, but uh, you're bad news. Are you willing to surrender yet? Because I have kicked the crap out of pretty much everything here. Are you losing your other war, actually, is my question. It's 62% in favour of him. Yeah, I kind of need to go whack you really, really hard. Uh, please be charitable. Actually, she's one of my younger daughters. I don't give a shit. She can do whatever she wants. Come over here. We need to do some more conquering. Wow. This army is actually getting kind of whittled down. Um, great. Thanks, brigands. Ruining everything. Salt it. Oubliette. Oh, hey. Did you just win your war? Or did we kill the kid? No, your dad was one of the previous sultans. What happened to... Oh, no. It's the same guy. I'm an idiot. He just came of age. Do. Good job, me. Great. Okay. Now we have completed Africa, I believe. Uh, I'm tempted to kill him. And then grab Surinacia just to uh, just to condense all our holdings. But right now, see is doing his thing. So I'm going to leave him to it. Oh, right. I didn't create a new vassal. Durr. Um, I'm going to leave Yusia to it for now and hope that he has a civil war of some kind. You get cert. Great. That is fantastic. Um, how much retinue cap do you have? Oh, not retinue cap. Cap cap. Princess Emma of the Dahako Empire has become regent. For who? Oh, for the... For the... For two... Really? What did his dad die from? Died of the Great Pox. Oh. Awkward. Oh, which I'd have known if I'd read the message. And just clicked away and be like, oh, right, that's what he died from. Okay, let's go to port in Sicily. Because they've got good uh, supply cap. The influence of Emperor Simon is now felt throughout the former Roman province of Africa, as it once more falls under the sway of the Empire. Imperial troops are marching through the city of Carthage, the ancient nemesis of Rome, indefinite proof that history does indeed repeat itself. Long live the Empire! More prestige is good prestige. You had a son named Nathaniel, who is spectacularly unnotable. Raymond's doing okay, I suppose. A little bit. We have won the siege of Monferretto. Um, I wasn't aware that we were fighting for it. I'm assuming you are having some sort of war. Yes, no, maybe. Yes, okay, you're having a tyranny war. Well, that makes some sense, I suppose. Alright, so... Mm, how old is he? 45. I think we've got time for a holy war first. But I'm going to give um, our old Chancellor man a year... 
or so to uh, to try and get another claim. If we can get claims on two counties of the Duchy of Latium, that's fine because we'll take one for ourselves. We'll take Rome for ourselves and take the other one and give it to somebody else, and then we can use up the touch the the title Duchy. I was getting all messed up in my words. The title Duchy of Latium. And then we can press a de jure claim on the third county. So if we can grab, if we can grab a, actually no, I'm going to move him to Ottobello, just in case that helps. I don't think it will, but you, know, you never know, it might. Now, ooh, that retinue cap. Give me all of your soldiers. Um, yeah, we need some of these guys. How many is that? That should be about 5,000. Great. Let me take all of you over to here. So that should give us an army of about 40,000. Good job. So about 40,000 people to assault places with. Uh, no matter how discreet I've been with my lover, I have a lover. Who? Oh. Duchess Aline of Somerset. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Right, I uh, don't think we've had any kids with her, unless uh, we did with this one. We might have. That is entirely possible. Uh, no matter how discreet I have been with my lover, my Yvonne still manages to grow suspicious of my behavior. I think I may have tried too hard to be inconspicuous. Um, what traits have I currently got? I don't have Deceitful. Deceitful could actually be kind of cool. Um, hmm. I think tell her I do, I do important things would probably be the best option. Unless I want humble. I've already got humble. No, I don't want to be proud. Uh, I will tell her that I do important things. People are such gullible fools. I've gained deceitful. Hooray. I've fulfilled my ambition to improve my intrigue. That's fantastic. Improve my diplomacy now. It's going to need it. <laughs> Alright. Let's see how things are going over here. Whoa, Golden Horde, man. What you doing? Are you having another rebellion? The Athenian League. Wait, so they won? No. Oh. They must have lost their civil war. And then... Immediately joined... Oh. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Because I sort of need Athens. As much as I'm thinking, oh, this might be a bad I bad time to, you know, attack, just in case they're able to get their independence. I'll let them go for a little bit. I'll see if they can do it. Oh. <laughs> Obviously not. That was a quick rebellion. Or maybe I just didn't notice it for a little bit. Either one is entirely possible. But I'd like these, uh, these retinue troops to have a little bit of time to replenish and prepare. Seriously, dude? Has anyone ever actually successfully stolen a title from me? In the entire history of the game, has anyone managed that? No, I think not, so stop it. Alright, combine everyone. I should have done this ages and ages and ages ago, but I've been kind of neglecting using uh, army leaders, so I'm going to put Odder in charge of that, Osborn in charge of that, and Thurston in charge of... actually. Do we have anyone who's good at flanking? Do we have a flanker? Anywhere? No, we actually have pretty much nobody with any uh, military traits whatsoever. So, actually... No, Roger, Roger wouldn't be too good. Yeah, Thurston, you have the flank. Alright, that should help a little bit with our effectiveness. Of course, it might mean that people die in my uh, constant assaulting of the breaches, which is sort of why I haven't been bothering to do it for a while, the whole army leader thing, but some of it is also that I've just forgotten, because I'm me. Alright, um... You've had long enough. If, if you haven't got a claim on it by now, you're probably not going to get one for a bit. So, Rome, it rightfully belongs to us. Gimme. Alright, on board. We'll sail for Rome. Rome has an actually really, really good uh, supply cap, if I remember correctly. 
Really? Right this second. I don't think you've thought this one through. Meet all your troops. All your troops. All yours. All yours. That gives us 10,000. Uh, everybody meet there, actually. And Ulster, I need your troops. Another 2,000. And I'll grab Galloway's as well. Alright, so everybody meet over here. That should be enough. Hopefully. What are you doing? Really? Would you accept... No. Oh, you're the peasant revolt guy. You won. Good job. Solid effort, actually. Well played. I'm impressed. Suitably impressed. That's great. I don't care. Yes, I lost a trade post. Good job on racking up no war score whatsoever. But what's that? 29%? Oh, what's that? 40%? Yeah, because I'm attacking relevant things, you twats. Now sod off attacking everything else that's not important, goddammit. Alright. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Attack. Siege lengthens. I like how it says the siege lengthens on things, and if it's talking about any of the places where my retinue is, I sort of question myself. Is it? Is the siege lengthening? Because as far as I can tell, it's not. Oh, I already had 8,000 troops ready-made. Well, that's alright. These guys can attack there. I do want to leave a little bit of retinue. Come here. I want to give you hugs. Lollard heresy is a... God damn it, Odessa. Why do you do this to me? Come on, come on, get him. Oh, <laughs> helps if I unpause. Alright, I think we can raise troops in a semi-cordon thing to... Stop them from running away. Need to go there. You are going to Teviotdale. Okay. Go for Teviotdale. Go. Northumberland. Rise up. Lancaster. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Rise up. March forward. Uh, if you want to improve your skill at diplomacy, you need to become a confident public speaker. Swaying the hearts and minds of men with simple words is not an easy thing, but you have a... You've started practicing in front of a mirror. Things can only improve. You talking to me? I'm the only one in the room. You gotta be talking to me. At age 80, our mother died a natural death. Well done, mum. Well played. That That is a solid effort. Are we gonna get there in time? Maybe. Yes! Ha ha! Suckers! Die, all of you die. Now where are you going? You're going to Lothian. Great, so are we. Oh. Now we're going to Dunbar. Right, I should probably focus on winning the war war that I'm in. Considering that I just bitched about how they're not trying all that hard. Let's go for Oviedo. Eighty-five percent. Seriously? I, really? What's with all the revolts, guys? It's not going to work. I'm curious about that, actually. Why the peasants decide to revolt all the time, despite the fact that they will never win. I don't know. They just want to, I suppose. They want to be free. They want to be free. But I would have thought it would be like factions in, of you know, your nobles, where they go, well, it's not really going to work out all that well for us, so let's not do anything. I would have thought that just made some sense, but whatever. With the city back under East Roman control, the Patriarchate of Rome has been properly restored as one of the Episcopal sees of the Pentarchy in the Eastern Orthodox Church. If all five Patriarch... Patriarchates? Patriarchates have returned to the Pentarchy. Pentarchy? Pentarchy? I don't know. Some grammatical specialist could tell me. Otherwise known as a grammar Nazi. The great schism between the Eastern and Western churches may finally be mended. Well, no. You have to be Orthodox to do that. 
I'm confused about that actually, why you can't repair it from the other side and be like, Orthodox is wrong, all of you are heathens! But you can go, Orthodox is right, all of you Catholics are heathens. Surely if one side gains the upper hand, they should be able to fix it, no? But whatever. I'm not the designer of the game. In all honesty, I don't really care. I'm just happy that I got an extra 100 piety. Woo! Go team! Alright. You've converted people. That is great. Now where the hell are you? Oh. Well that is especially unwise on your part. Because I'm coming to get you. Oh, did somebody die in battle? I think somebody died in battle. Serral? Really? That is a shit name. No offense to anyone who's named Serral in the present day, but that is a shitty sounding name when you've got all these wonderful names to choose from in our, you know, in our rich history. Could have called him William or Gerard or something like that, but they went for Serral. Whatever. Great. Now, please, everyone die. Hello, Golden Horde, what are you doing? Defending against Harold of Harold's host? Really? Leading troops in Gotland? How many? That's not bad. 30,000 odd. That's actually a fair number. Okay, so the Timurids are doing their thing. They're attacking... Persia again. Oh, they're attacking here. Right, okay. How many men can he go to arms now? About 70,000. So, hopefully his stacks are still getting whittled down. That would be lovely, but probably hoping for a little bit too much. If I'm honest. Okay, you, come here. I want to give you love and huggles. Come here. Why don't you love me, rebels? You sons of bitches. I will have my vengeance. Steward Count Armand has some interesting ideas on how to improve the economy. Sure. I like economy. Aha! I've given you love and huggles. Now, surrender. Thank you. Fantastic. Well done, Freire. People are dying in my dungeons. I feel no sadness about this. Can't imagine why, rebel scum. Uh, where are you going next? You're going to Tainovo. I wonder if I could catch you here. 21st of May, 13th. No. Alright, I'm going to wait for him to get here. Okay, I guess I'm not. 29th. We're going to arrive on the 1st of June. Of course. I swear, they get faster than you by some form of magic. Unless they do something stupid like that. Surrender, rebel scum. Cheers. Um, I'm keeping the fleets uh, raised now because basically Simon has ruled for almost 40... No, he's ruled... No, yes, yes, he's ruled for almost 40 years. I was getting my maths all confused for a minute there. I thought it was about to go into the 80s. Uh, but yeah, he's ruled for almost 40 years. He has a massive long reign penalty, considering like how good our um, how good our technology is. So let's see, can we find somebody? Oh no, he doesn't have him. Wait, that might be because it's Biden time. Corduba? No, I don't know. But he's been giving things out and he's ruled for long enough that people actually just kind of love him. They're like, yeah, it's that dude. He does stuff. Mm, no, I'm going to leave that for now. If this fellow wants to grab it... Actually, no, I will grab it because he's content. If he was ambitious, I'd go fuck him, but he's content, so... Yeah, now you get to be the Duke of Kabidia. Congratulations! See how good I am? I would be an excellent boss, just handing out work promotions. It's like, you sat there for one whole day without bitching about it. Congratulations! Promoted! Okay, actually, if I did it that way, I'd be a really shit boss. A crusade for Hungary. If we win, it would go to the Empress of the Wendish Empire, which I don't care about. The novelty of a single county empire sitting above my massive empire is, you know, that's pretty funny. 
So if she wins, great. If she doesn't, meh. But God does indeed will it. Well, unless he doesn't, in which case we'll get a little message about the whole Black Day thing, which is what the um, we've been getting for the Jihads, except there's a, that's pathetic, because clearly we are superior. Obviously. You are old and going to die soon, so you don't get to be Spymaster. Humbert, you're up. Uh, is there anyone we need to murder? I don't think so, so, um... You know what? Just keep studying tech in Constantinople for me. I'll call you up when we need someone murdered. Um... Oh. It does all go to her, right? Yeah, it does go. It does go to her, but some of our vassals are joining in. Um, Adele asks, since we all die anyway, why... Why be so hassled about life? Why to be? I don't know. English probably is not a language that the paradox people are intimately familiar with. They don't. They probably don't understand all grammatical syntax. I know I don't. I speak English as my first language, and I know I don't understand it completely. So as a second language, I'm sure it would be even harder. But that seems odd. Why to? Why to be? Actually, I, I guess not. I mean, French does something similar when you're talking about past events. It changes it, so instead of I, I have been. Anyway, people who speak other languages will know what I'm talking about. Well, some languages. Anyway, moving right along. Uh, do we think she's right, or do we... Hmm, no, I think she's right. She's temperate. That's the one I wanted. That's great. But I'd still prefer it if your sister had not had the strong trait and some of my other kids had. Um, thank the lord. Oh, hey, what are you doing? The Spalletan League Independence War. Who's leading that? Well, I guess that would make sense that the Duke of Spalletto would be leading it. Thanks, Adolf. Um, I can't offer to join the war, can I? No, I would have thought that I could, because I'm his ally, technically, aren't I? Yeah, well, okay, whatever. Either you win or you don't. I just like seeing rebellions in places that aren't my territory, because they're hilarious. Mainly because they're not happening to me. Oh, God. Uh, Conrad of Ovieto... He's trying to use up my title. You son of a bitch! Um, well, try to bribe. Try to try to kill him. And we will go back to Rome. Actually, no, we won't. Wait, yes, we will. Yeah, we'll go back to Rome for a little bit. Uh, the assassins I sent failed miserably, and he continues his work to fabricate a claim on my title. Damnation! So yeah, we'll, we'll head back to Rome, we'll refill our retinue a little bit, and then zoom. My cynical comments have made people look at things my way, I've created more cynics. No way they will keep up with me. Great. Oh nice, well done dude. There's only one more military upgrade that I really, really, really want. And pretty much nothing on this, on these two. Yeah. Technology is kind of just a, a non-issue at this point. I would love my 41,000 troops. That would be fantastic if I could have 41,000 troops. And you... Oh. I guess no one died. Turston just decided he didn't want to be in charge anymore. The Castle of Beth Gibbelin. The Knights of St. John have established a new holding in the county of Hebron. Oh. Great. Wait, does that mean that they are de jure my vassals now? Hi, can, can, I, can I vassal you? No, not my de jure liege, foreign culture. What if I send you a gift? Then how much do you like me? No. But I can declare war for the... That just makes no sense. But whatever. Does that stop Dejure Drift, though? 
I don't think so. I think as long as you own all the counties, it'll continue drifting. It won't make a difference anyway, really. Unless it... Wait, maybe it will. Hmm. Yeah, it would, it would be assimilated into our realm just before 1450. So I guess that does make a difference. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. I'll check back in December next year to see how it's doing. Great, more Catholics. In real life, I would not be so excited about this, but seeing as it is a game, Catholics are okay. I'm personally just really anti-religion, basically. I, I, I don't like religion as a concept. I understand other people like it, but myself, I don't, I don't subscribe to anyone. Anyone religion? I, I have read a lot of the holy books because I find them interesting, but I don't believe. Hmm, Hermione is often involved in fights with other toddlers. Really? Uh, cynical, diligent, chance of slothful, but those other two are really good. So, actually, is there another chance of diligent? Hmm. No, this one's the best. Cynical is okay. Cynical's actually kind of good. No, you can't be ill. Well, strong offsets that, so she should be okay. God damn it, I stopped to kill him. I, fa I failed to kill him again. I hate you guys. Alright, last act of this mini set. So I'm gonna take a bit of a break, get some coffee, get some food. Last thing to be done is we're going to declare war. A holy war for Barcelona, because I believe, apart from Aragon itself, that's the largest amount of land. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Actually, does this count as part of de jure Aragon? Because I thought it was. It does. You control 8%. 8% is one county. Two, three, four, five. So we'd own six of the counties. We'd need to count. We, yeah, we'd need at least one more. But that's all right. We are going to declare war on you for Barcelona. Barcelona. Where Manuel is from. But unlike him, we don't need to use it as an excuse. Because we just go, hey, they're Fratacelli. They're evil. And everyone else goes, oh, yeah, 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 actually, that's, that's a fair point. Dude, has that ever worked for anyone? The answer is no, so fuck off. Alright. Kill. 41%. 49%. Come on. Give me the good stuff. Hope I don't have to go kill his army. I'm gonna have to go kill his army. Ooh, sneaky bastard. Right, I'll just come get you here. Seriously, that didn't help you one bit, did it? 98%, are you willing to surrender now? You are, that is great. You've made the right choice. Excellent. Dear brother-in-law, tales of your misdeeds are told from Ireland to Cathay. I accept your offer of peace. He doesn't seem that angry, but he is, so whatever. He's got the great pox as well. <laughs> He's probably going to die just from... Uh, well, on the plus side, if he dies, means I don't have to deal with uh, his truce thing. I can just be like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I'm attacking again. Although it would be nice to have a Dahakor king on the throne. I'm, sh I'm sure I can find a relative who hasn't got any land, who won't be inheriting anything, so I can just be like, here, take this land and take this land and do good things with them so that I don't have to worry about the kingdom and people being annoyed at me for having the kingdom title. Though, I don't think anyone could ever actually successfully grab the kingdom title through a plot or anything like that. I could probably just be like, yeah, I'm going to war with you for this. I'm going to kick your ass, and then, if I can, I'm going to imprison you and banish you. But um, I'm going to distribute the holdings to different people off screen, and when we come back, we will probably be waiting for him to die of the Great Pox so we can attack more of Aragon in our glorious semi-reconquista, because we're not actually Spanish, so it's not technically a reconquista. 
But I suppose we could claim it was through the, the whole we are the Roman Empire thing. I guess. Sort of. Maybe. Whatever. It's a good enough pretext as anything. They're heretics. We must smite them. Very much Warhammer 40k in that. <laughs> Suffer not the heretic to live. But yeah, I shall see you guys next time. With me, Grey Hunter.